Hi there everyone. Here's a little tutorial on how to create a new custom transition effect in PowerDirector versions 10, 11, and 12 using the Freeform tool in PIP Designer. So let's get started on how to create this custom transition effect. First, we'll drag a video clip or an image into track number 2. Now that our first clip is in track number 2, we'll move the scrubber ahead to the ending one second point of the clip and create a split so that we have an ending one second section. Next, we'll drag our second clip down into track number 3 and align it to start with the one second split in track number 2. Now highlight the one second section in track number 2 and move the scrubber to the end of the one second section. Then highlight track number 3 and click on the split button. We now have two one second splits, one on top of each other. You can now repeat this procedure with more images and clips if you wish. Okay, so now it's time to do a little work in PowerDirector's PIP Designer. Highlight the top one second split section in track number 2 and then click on the Modify button to open PIP Designer. Now I'm going to open the Grid Lines option and set it to 10. Next we'll click on the Motion button and then on the X to create a custom path. Then click on the Diamonds to add scale and freeform keyframes. And now drag the Timeline Scrubber to the right end of the clip. Next, and this is a very important step, click on the Properties button and remove the check mark from the Maintain Aspect Ratio box. Okay, the next step now is to reposition the little freeform squares on the left side of your screen to your new desired positions. Now grab the middle dot on the right side of the screen and drag it all the way to the left. Then click on the Motion button again. Finally, hover your cursor over the blue dot and while holding down the click on your mouse, move it all left one section or frame. Then click on Save. OK, so now we'll basically just repeat the same procedure with the bottom one second split. Highlight the bottom split section. Then click on Motion and then on Custom Path. Now add the scale and freeform keyframes. But this time leave the timeline scrubber at the start of the sequence. And again repeat the very important step of clicking on the properties button and removing the check mark in the maintain aspect ratio box. Don't skip this very important step. Now we can proceed as we did before and position the little freeform squares, but this time on the right side of the screen. Then grab the middle dot on the left side and drag it all the way to the right. Then click on the motion button again. And finally, just as before, move it to the right one section or frame. Then click on Save. And now the new custom transition effect should look like this. For those of you who are using PowerDirector 12, you now have that great new copy and paste keyframe attributes option. This means that any custom keyframe attributes that you apply to an image or a clip can be copied and pasted 
and applied to another separate clip. At the end of this tutorial, we'll provide a free download link to a pre-made version of this transition effect. Go to the two links in the description box below and go to the director zone and download the two-part transition effect and then copy and paste the keyframe attributes to your own splits. But there are a few rules you need to follow to make this work correctly. For this particular custom transition effect, it has a duration of one second. So if you plan on copy and pasting the keyframe attributes to another segment, those other segments must also be one second long. Thanks again for watching another PD Toots tutorial.